I like to go to the studio every day if it's possible. I like to spend time in the studio as much time as I can because there is something that happens every day. So in the case of Van Gogh, it came in 2021. Then Toulouse Lautrec came in 2022, 2023. And I was a little bit of, I would have say afraid because to lose life was very intense. And so is Van Gogh, but to lose life was filled up with, with a lot of, I would say, rejection and sometimes, which Van Gogh did too. But for some reason, I was able to connect more towards him. And I, I did the Queen Bee, and then I did the Guest of Honors, and then the messenger, just the one with the horses. And once I did those three, I felt like afraid of keep going with the series. Cause it felt like to me, like it was gonna take me to a place of, that for some sort of reason I was afraid of. And it wasn't until 2022 until 2023, actually at the end of 2022, mid 2022, when I was like, I came back to it. And then I realized that I was afraid because I was seeing myself. I was recognizing the, the, his work and I was recognizing his life. And it kind of like was implemented in my own life. Because, you know, as I would tell you, my parents divorced when I was a little kid. So I felt rejected. And maybe that's what it was creating the anxiety inside of me that I was going to find a big part of myself going into the series. And at the end of everything, it was the greatest thing that could have happened because I was able to release all this. There's something very important to see in my work is that each character has his own personality. It's not a repetition of the same character and that comes from being in tune to whatever I'm you know, looking at. And all these characters of Toulouse Le Trek would never have been possible if Toulouse Le Trek wasn't there for the first time. So it was that connection that created this body of work. It's the same thing with the Van Gogh series. If you look each character individually, they're not the same. Each one has his own personality.